Vietnam have every history-making moment. CNN equals politics. Welcome back. That's Jackie Jarris back there setting everybody straight about Faye. I'm Rick Sanchez. This is the world headquarters of CNN. I saw a headline this week about scientists getting closer to developing a so-called invisibility cloak. A what? Sounds like something out of a Harry Potter movie, right? Remember this? Wait, where'd I go? What is it? Some kind of cloak? Well, let's see them. Put it on. Whoa! My body's gone! I know what that is! That's an invisibility cloak! I'm invisible? An invisibility cloak? University of California, Berkeley, doing some research on this, and Zhang Zhang is in charge of the whole thing. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly interested, but still somewhat befuddled. What in the heck are you talking about, sir? What is this thing? Hi. Well, um, this actually is, uh, we, our discovery is about actually a very fundamental property that we can bend the light at the desire, especially with bend the light in a, a wrong direction that never been done uh, before in the history. Is, now, this a, is this a molecular change? Uh, is, is it atomic? I mean, what, what or, or is it just using mirrors to fake people the way, uh, you, you know, uh, folks have been doing for many, many years? Well, this is uh, not exactly. What, what happened is we build this composite material, which are mixture of metals and, and uh, dielectrics or insulators. And those actually very tiny nanostructures we carefully architecture or engineer that um, when the light passes through this uh, uh, bulk media, it responds collectively, uh, just like a thousand people actually in the Olympic uh, uh, opening uh, uh, stadium, that they wave and wow. form a big wave pattern. So, but, so, but, but, do, but do they actually, before you get too much into the explanation, <laughs> because I know you'll lose me, do they actually disappear? I mean, if, if, if I use this, if you use this on me and you were standing in the room, would you really not see me? Yes, well, uh, this work actually is about the, this fundamental property. Now, if I use this material in the future, that could develop a cloak that can actually uh, surround you and direct the light uh, around you, but never touch you. So I imagine the military has been calling you a lot and asking you about this, right? Well, uh, again, this study, uh, this uh, scientific breakthrough, is about a fundamental study of how you bend the light in a very strange way. Um, there will be uh, many applications, uh, cloaking certainly, uh, some year down the road is one of them, but the, what I actually, actually I see is uh, their array of uh, technology could be benefit from this. For example, we are working on a concept of technology so-called super lens that can actually build the things, uh, a piece of lens from these materials and gives you a superior power to resolve a very small feature size of molecules or, or DNA or virus. Wow. that uh, people never been able to see before. Yeah, things it were, so it can have a, a life-saving uh, life implication or effect. Zhang Zhang, thanks so much, doctor, for joining us. Excellent Thank information. Thanks. I, I'm still somewhat confused, though. He set the gold standard at the Olympics, the incredible Michael Phelps.